Hey Eric, you got a minute? Sure, what can I do for you? We're testing a section of conveyor that is moving cereal boxes. Everything runs smoothly until the boxes get to the corner, where some of the boxes are tipping over. The customer wants a new, wider guide rail through the turn so the boxes don't tip over. Can you help me figure out how much guide rail to order? Sure, let's look at the drawings here. Show me where they want the wider guide rail. Through here and here. Let's think about how we can calculate that and what information we will need. So, we need to calculate the arc length. Arc length is the percentage of the circumference of a circle. We need to know the radius and the degree of the turn. We will also need to know the width of the conveyor so we can calculate both guide rails. The radius of the turn is 24 inches. The degree of the turn is 75 degrees. The width of the conveyor is 8.5 inches. The arc length equals circumference of the circle times degree of the turn divided by 360 degrees. The circumference of a circle is equal to diameter multiplied by pi. We can multiply the radius by 2 to get the diameter. After plugging in the values, the arc length comes out to be 31.42 inches. For the outer guide rail, we need to add the width of the conveyor to the radius. After calculating the arc length for the outer guide rail, we get 42.54 inches. Together, the inner and outer guide rail equal 42.54 inches plus 31.42 inches, which equals 73.96 inches. So after doing the calculations, you'll need to order 73.96 inches of the wide guide rail. So let's just cut it at 74 inches. Sounds good. Thanks.